treatment for short-sightedness is actually very straightforward. Your child needs a pair of glasses that will focus the light correctly for their eye, provide a clear image and support their visual development. This is something that can often be done before the child even comes to see me and in fact it should be done if a short-sighted prescription has been found. But sometimes people may not feel so confident, particularly if it's a big prescription about giving the whole thing or perhaps you want that to be checked again. So children come in in a relaxed environment, hopefully for everybody so that we can get the, the best performance from the child and they'll see an orthoptist first. An orthoptist is a trained professional in the assessment of children's vision and also looking at how the two eyes work together which can give us some really important clues about the health of the eye and visual development. Then we have to, depending on the age of the child, it's usually a question of putting drops in to dilate the pupil so that we can check the prescription of the eye again, check the glasses prescription. And a lot of times we may say you're in the correct pair of glasses but if not then we can tweak that. Then it's a question of coming to see me and having a discussion about where we go from here in terms of how it's affecting your, your life or your child's life, how the health of the eye is, any other eye conditions that might run in the family which can be important. And it's a time that you have to ask your questions, the things that have been maybe playing on your mind, perhaps you didn't feel like you could ask somebody else or you've sat and done some research which a lot of parents do come having looked at things in quite a lot of depth because there's a lot of information about short-sightedness out there and actually as if you're not a medical professional particularly if you're not an ophthalmologist it can be a little bewildering about about what to believe where to go with some of it I will then check the health of your child's eye and we can talk about strategies to limit the progression of short-sightedness so there's a lot of research going on in this area. It's an area of a lot of interest. The most simple things that you can do are encourage your child to spend an hour outdoor every day in natural light. And there have been studies done that have looked at children who do this and children who spend a lot of time indoors. And we find that actually the progression, how quickly your short-sightedness gets worse is less if you have natural light exposure for an hour a day. And that's you know, something that's very easy to do, it doesn't distress your child and it's good for them, getting some fresh air outside. Another thing that a lot of parents um, may have been told or kind of an urban myth that's out there is putting your child in short-sighted glasses will make their short-sightedness worse because people come and say, my child was told they were short-sighted, they were given a pair of glasses and now they're completely dependent on them, the glasses have done it. And actually, it's not the situation at all. What you're seeing is your child putting glasses on, seeing the world in focus and really liking what they're seeing. So of course they'll become much more keen to wear their glasses. The other thing that, that can often be a big cause of anxiety for parents is discovering that their child's short-sightedness is progressing over time. And actually what we know is that a short-sighted eye is a larger eye, and as your child grows this way, their eye will also elongate, so it's quite natural that there will be some progression, some worsening of their short-sightedness as they grow. However, we do know now that contrary to what people thought, it's that if you give a child the full short-sighted prescription that they require, you're probably halting the rate at which their short-sightedness progresses. And of course there are other treatments out there, but a lot of those are more emerging treatments. And of course it's very useful to have a discussion about them. But some of those are still being evaluated for kind of safety and efficiency. Because before you do anything to a child, you want to be absolutely sure that you're doing something that's in their benefit. Not just now, but in the future. So it's common that actually I get asked to see children who have perhaps been seeing a very good optometrist for many years. Sometimes it can be because the rate of short-sightedness is progressing a little bit more than is normal or is common and people just want a second opinion which is completely a reasonable thing to do. Other times it might be that your child has been found to be short-sighted from an earlier age. And it's a question of just having the time to spend with the child um, and being very confident about seeing children and examining them to be sure that the prescription that your child has been issued is completely right for them to support their visual development.
You can often see the difference in children who have been given a good pair of glasses and are developing good vision because their visual behaviour changes, their confidence in a room, their interactions with others. School might notice that your child um, has changed, has become more outgoing, more confident. Parents come and again report similar things that they're not worried about their child anymore and I think it's really important that you see somebody who can give you reassurance where your child is doing very well. I remember myself being short-sighted and actually I came from a family that didn't have a history of short-sightedness and remember telling people for a very long time, I mean this was in the days of blackboards, that I couldn't see the board at school and for a long time I was ignored until finally I got a pair of glasses and you suddenly think, oh this is what the world should look like, the trees have leaves. And it's, it's kind of acknowledging that and it might seem a very simple thing to do but being able to give people reassurance that your child is normal, that they're doing well, can be very powerful things for families because that anxiety, you worry more about your children than you worry about yourself. So if you're a parent who has a child who's short-sighted, perhaps they're a very young child and optometrists in the community aren't able to assess your child in the way that your child needs to be assessed. Perhaps you're somebody who's got a family history of short-sightedness and you're concerned that your child may be short-sighted. Maybe you've got a child whose short-sightedness is progressing more quickly than your excellent optometrist in the community is confident with managing. Or maybe you just want a second opinion and a chance to talk through some of the new developments that are coming out and see where things are going, what the future might hold. We'd be very happy to see you at Clinica London.